we're going to the hills, one of my favourite places. Hello, welcome to a new video. I hope you're doing great. Um, Happy New Year by the way. I can't really believe it's 2023. The time has gone so fast. But yeah, here's to an exciting new year. Now it's compact. Throughout this last year, I've really been trying to improve my landscape painting. It's always been sort of really intimidating for me, and I still really admire talented landscape artists, especially when they're able to be really free and spontaneous with their work. We have arrived. So I was never that artist that um, was comfortable doing scenes or landscapes, um, but 2022 was the year when I attempted to learn. I started with ocean scenes. That is more, that's more accessible to me right now since I live like five minutes from the sea, which is amazing. The sea has always been a really special place that is close to my heart. I can't read. <laughs> Wait, it's fine, it's fine recorded, don't worry about it. We pressed it once and it's going. Full out. I actually spent three years in New Caledonia when I was young and like we practically lived in the ocean. It's a big part of my childhood and it's something that I will never forget. We were really immersed in nature and we didn't really have distractions. The only thing we could do was climb a tree or swim. And between that part of my childhood and going to Sicily every summer, since my mum's Italian and we have a lot of family there, again, I spent so much time at the beach and in the sea. So painting the ocean was quite special. But more recently, I think about two years ago, I lived in the hills with my family and we were very much surrounded by trees and forests and that was very beautiful too. And I do wish I got into landscape painting then because I was so immersed by nature. It was so beautiful up there and I do remember attempting every now and then to draw something, a leaf or a flower, but I was just way too intimidated by the busy forest scenes and the vast green landscapes to try and actually do a landscape painting. <laughs> but after a few painting sessions of the ocean, I thought I'd give the hills a go. But I, do. I packed my equipment and drove an hour to a forest track. I think it was an extra special painting session because I had just recently got my driving license. Um, so I'd actually been waiting a while to feel comfortable enough to drive all the way to the hills by myself and just go for a painting session. I didn't prime these MDF boards before leaving um, and I plan to paint in oil paint. So I need to put down a base of acrylic paint just to make like a barrier. And it was just quite special to be back there. Not so long ago, that was my home. So it felt really nostalgic and I don't know, it just, it felt really nice to be back there. Since I'm reflecting on the past year, um, I think this connection with places is something that I really felt this year, last year. God, that's weird. Yeah, I think 2022 had a lot of different places. I was at the beach, I was in the hills, I was in the city. I went to Europe in July and saw my family after five years and I, I got to feel different places and feel like I was home in all of them, which is really weird, if that makes any sense. And I think that also informed my art. After coming back from Europe, I was definitely very inspired to paint scenes and landscapes that I love. And I think that's kind of a reason why I started painting the ocean and then later painting the trees and the hills and the forests. I think making a painting really immortalizes a place. And I don't know, I have these memories attached to every painting that I make. So I think I've been really fascinated and interested in trying to spontaneously capture places. I hope I'll look back in 20 years and remember the exact place where I painted that, you know? <laughs> that would be really, really amazing. I think I have a lot to improve on, but that's exciting and I'm excited for the year ahead to see where I'll go and how much I'll improve. Um, and I'm always so glad that I make videos like these not just to share it with other people and hopefully inspire or help other people, but just mostly for myself. I love to look back on these videos and just see the progress that I've made and how much I've changed, but also just, I love getting re-immersed in a project that I was passionate about in the past. It's really cool. So I hope 
this year I'll make a whole bunch of new stuff that I can look back on and be proud of. I'm tired of the sun and every morning I feels the same Where did all the rainy days go? The gusts from New England chills my bones Thawed out by the California sun The thing for me in the middle of January Why am I in shorts? I think I'm gonna do the sky peeking through and then I'll be about done. Hey, yeah, it does sort of look like a muddy mess, but it has some charm. This was definitely a challenge for me. I'm not used to painting greenery and trees and bushes and things like that. Um, so yeah, definitely out of my comfort zone, but it's something that I'm really hoping to improve. So I'll be working on that, but yeah. It's really immersive too, to just be completely surrounded by trees. I didn't see a single person either. Like this is a track and there was, it was just me. Um, a lot to improve on, but I kind of like it as well. It's unlike anything that I would usually paint. So it's kind of cool to see that I made this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you did, please make sure to like it and subscribe as well. If you'd like to keep up with all my artistic endeavors. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. I definitely enjoyed my time with family and friends. I hope you're excited for the new year and I'll see you very soon in the next video and many more videos to come. Yeah, make some art, it's good for your soul. Bye. Boop.